To 530 camera controversy, we may never know whether a West Palm Beach police security camera captured footage of a killer still on the run. This is a grieving mother questions whether the camera was working in the first place. News Channel 5's Brian Anton is live in West Palm Beach to explain. Brian. The city spent almost $70,000 on new security cameras, West Palm Beach security cameras like that one you see right up there. They have the police emblem all over them. So the question now, why when this man was murdered just 100 yards from here, is there no video footage of it? There's a lot of finger pointing happening. He's scared to go as I have. The days don't get any easier for Juanita Jefferson. Our kids are to bear with us. Not for us to be right kids. Juanita's son, Travares, murdered near Dunbar Village back in May, leaving behind these twins. They want to know when is their father going to wake up. Juanita is frustrated. She says two days after the killing, a West Palm Beach police detective told her that this security camera near the crime scene was not working. Well, if the camera would have been on, they would have seen who did it. That's not true. Um, that's not entirely accurate. The cameras were operating. Uh, they were recording. City spokesman Elliot Cohen says the camera works, but he says the police detective didn't check the video footage fast enough. I know that it wasn't checked before it was overwritten. West Palm Beach Commissioner Paula Ryan says she has her own concerns about whether the cameras actually work and Cohen says police don't have anyone watching them. Is it a question of the police department making the decision to put someone in front of these cameras 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Is that, is that the best use of, of their time and the best way to use that tool? Um, that's a discussion that they should probably have. Juanita isn't sure who to believe. She just wants police to find her son's killer. They say one thing and then somebody else say another. I don't know for sure. So this issue could come up at the city commission meeting that is happening right now. And that city spokesman told me that out of 31 cameras, only two are broken right now. He says another five need their lenses cleaned. But he says the cameras only record video for 23 hours. So if police go back to look at an incident that happened more than a day ago, the footage is then recorded over, essentially erased, and they cannot see that footage. Live in West Palm Beach, Brian Enton, WPTV News Channel 5.